Hey guys, um, it's been it's been a while. I haven't been re I have not recorded any videos. Get very really, really tied up with the work. Anyway, today what I have decided to do is I would like to um show you basically just explain to you how to write very um uh something like this. How to write uh, basic captcha images. You know, this thing is called, you know, a lot of, you might have noticed in a lot of websites, something like this. This is to um, prevent a lot of spam coming in into your website, you know. So basically, you have basic uh, form, collection form and stuff. You would like to, your real human beings to submit these data instead of, you know, automated spam or, or maybe bogus data coming in. So it's always good practice to, you know, have some sort of uh, spam integrated into your form. Especially if the form is external uh, facing, I mean, like not internet sites, right? So I thought about, you know, so um, of course there is a lot of built in, a lot of built in uh, CAPTCHA images that you can integrate from Google's and all those things. But, you know, you can, of course, you know, you just for fun, you can write by us, write yourself too. No, it's not a lot, a lot of work. So that's what I'm going to show you. So, how to, you know, write something like this. And usually this um, this e uh, this is very simple one. You know, you usually would like to make it kind of like a jagged or kind of kind of like um, um, not clear text, s so that you know it couldn't be easily uh, broken. But that is still I will I have a lot of things to be done on this one. But this is just the um, beginning. Okay, the first thing first, you know, and the. So how you want to render this um, dynamically generated image, right, in ASP.NET MVC5? There's a couple of things, but even before that, let me first show you how this uh, application works. Uh, this, even though it's it's this, this is part of my uh, really complicated process that I'm working on, but it just I'm going to show you only the capture portion of the functionality. It's a uh, in it's a uh, in terms of technology. It's using ASP.NET MVC5 and an NTD framework and and you know SQL Server in the backend database. Okay, let's go ahead and try to submit some um, you know uh, data. Test um Mary Amanda Amanda S Smith blah 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 some telephone number somewhere. Same say Amanda. And password, bogus passwords, but of course all these are bogus data. Oh, whatever. Okay. You know, um uh, this this guy is saying right now this this verification code, the capsule verification code needs to be entered into this text box, right? And if you and if you don't like this one, this uh, you can um refresh this. So, you know, whatever I'm ready to enter, I can enter go, let's say, so six, oops, let's say I enter something like incorrect capture, blah, 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 or if I, if I don't enter, it's, it's already required field, it will get error message, but if I enter incorrect data, incorrect capture uh, text here in my text box, and it will register. Oh, I didn't realize that I have a breakpoint already set in here. So um, I will show you the the capsa code later, but so basically I have you know it goes into a session based on this name and grab the value. So that is a session variable value that you can see into the in here. Come on, you don't wanna. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay, so this is the value that is in the capture, and then now, okay, see my local host is not toast. Okay. What happened? Local host is not responding. Let me go ahead and. All this. So. 
What is close all the tabs? Okay, I'm gonna open. Okay, let me get rid of this big point here. I'm trying to show you. Okay, this. Um, Geo one one. Geo, I have Geo already it's in my system, so it might get. Okay, I, I come in here and then they say I, in I enter something that is not correct, okay? And I say, so what happens here is the verification code didn't match. Please enter value verification code. That's the error message coming out from my controller. I I'll show you that code later. And let's say now, you know, I will come in here because on every refresh of the page, this new uh, code is rendered. So I'm going to use the M Q Q y one eight and it looks like i eight oh because you know the password field in refresh okay this time looks like it's submitting this information to my database trying to persist okay that information got persisted into back in database. So how it really worked is here is my um, okay here is my register post register uh, action method right here and this is it takes the this view model register view model which I'll show you later um, and then very first thing I did is if the model state is valid means all this the my you know view model is valid coming in then very first thing I would say okay give me the value true in the in the capture images which I have is true in the system variable also that code later and from that system variable I grab that value and put this into this local variable uh, let me just this put a line number here it's easy to explain when I'm explaining the code text editor the feature uh, so general nine numbers okay all right I got line number set and then in this statement right here I'm saying all right if the cap the value coming out value that is entered into this uh, model uh, this property of my model I will show you that uh, which is basically a text box caps of verification code is different than the one what is stored currently stored in the system variable then you know what that's the the that means the user didn't really enter the correct capture code so basically you display the error message and return the view you will stay in the same view otherwise you know all my um, model state is valid I grab all the information and persist this information that the user enter into back in database that is that is basically um, that is all but of course you know then how um, now first uh, let me show you how to display this uh, image uh, this how to generate this dynamic capture image and you know initially what I did when I was playing with it I decided to display this one um, as an image it worked but I would like to have this this uh, feature also just because it's not it's really cool to have you know user to give a choice you know they if they don't like what they have they can see right here they can enter it uh, you know they can change it or whatever which is kind of cool but to do um, but I cannot do that with the image because I try several trial error of course and of course look then the the trick to do it is of course you have to include uh, you have to use iframe okay let me let's look at into my um, our view model first mm. Here's my uh, solution explorer into this. This is my view model into um, 